And here's another example of where we can have molecules that do not follow the octet rule. And in this case, we're going to show an example where there's an incomplete octet. All right, the molecule boron trifluoride. Well, boron is the least electronegative, so that would be the central atom, and then, of course, the fluorine atoms will cluster around it, so we'll probably end up with something that looks like this. Boron with three fluorines, like that. Notice that the fluorine atom has seven valence electrons, so they only need to make one bond, so that looks pretty good. Boron has three valence electrons, which means it has three electrons available to make those bonds, so it looks like a fairly good arrangement here. It has three electrons, makes three bonds, each fluorine needs one electron to form an, an octet, so let's draw the other valence electrons in there. So it looks like all three of the fluorines are pretty happy. Boron did what it could, it only had three valence electrons, so it made the three bonds, and there you go, there's a very stable molecule. But notice that boron only has six valence electrons available part of the time, not an octet, so the rule is violated. However, because of this extra space, what happens sometimes is that another atom or another molecule come in and bond with the boron. For example, ammonia. So let's say we come in with ammonia, which is an N with three H's, with three hydrogens like this. Notice that in this case, we have two additional electrons here. This is the Lewis structure of ammonia. This is the Lewis structure of boron trifluoride. And notice that these two electrons can be drawn in and become part of the bond between boron and nitrogen. So when they come together, the molecule will look like this. Boron with the three fluorines, forming a bond with the nitrogen and having the three hydrogens like that. And so now you can see that it will leave itself to a bonding with something that looks like ammonia and it forms a stable molecule like that. But this molecule by itself is totally happy. It doesn't have to make the bond, it just makes it possible to make an additional bond like that because these two valence electrons are not there, so it can draw in the two valence electrons of another molecule like that. But to give you an idea that this is a perfectly happy molecule, boron trifluoride, without the octet rule being followed for every one of the atoms in that molecule.